<clears throat> what's going on guys oh shit what's going on guys and gals my name is Neko Fluttershy welcome to a fucking video I'm here with an asshole yeah I'm here with a fucking asshole named DJ Judson cause he's an asshole and he does things that assholes do and fuck a doodle dick so I had a bunch of well I had like two weird fucking dreams in a row that I wish were real. That I think mean, a lot of dreams that people have, they kind of wish were real because of different things. Yeah. That, yeah. But the first one basically took place in the Resident Evil universe. Uh, and, but only instead of it being. Oh, well, it gets better. So, you know. Me, Leon, Chris, and, and also for those of you that don't know who Leon and Chris are, basically Leon Kennedy and Chris Redfield, you know, the people from Resident Evil. You know, uh, we ended up finding this area, well, it it was a mansion, yeah, but it, it <laughs> yeah, it, it was a mansion, but it wasn't the mansion from the first game. It, it wasn't the Wesker mansion, you know, it, it wasn't that. And, um, so we ended up going to this mansion only to find out that the same thing that happened back in, apparently, 1998, you know, um, took place here as well in the future, and it was some different timeline because I, it, it, I guess it was the same virus, but it wasn't, you know, it was the same organization, you know, Umbrella, that made the virus, but it wasn't the same exact mansion. The mansion was different. Same location and everything, but it was a completely different mansion. And, yeah, so we actually ended up looking at all the possible things. We went outside because we were being chased by more zombies that should have ever been in there and then um so after that you know we ended up running into Wesker himself and he told us all about how great the world would be if humans didn't exist and zombies took over the world and the, and and the viruses would rage on and you know who, who needs humans yeah. Yeah, it was like, and, and the thing about it was, it was the, uh, the the same guy that played Wesker throughout. Uh, I, think it was, I think it was the first game. Yes, the shitty voice acting and all. <laughs> oh shit! Well, I'm almost getting killed by zombies. Holy shit! Um, but yeah, uh, the thing about it is, you know, it, we ended up basically fighting Wesker in his final form from Resident Evil 5 but it was a, it was the Wesker from Resident Evil 1 nothing make well, <laughs> also Chris Redfield punches a boulder I don't know why but in Resident Evil 5 that's what he does he just punches boulders <laughs> I mean, is, I don't care how fucking strong yeah, you are. <laughs> God. Yeah, guys and gals, and I probably should have said something beforehand, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> uh, but the thing about it is, uh, you know, so it, it was the, uh, it, it, it was the same form of Wesker from Resident Evil 5, but it had the voice actor from Resident Evil 1, Wesker. It was fucking strange. It was like two Weskers collide into one Wesker, and it was weird. So, you know, like, after that, long story short, we ended up putting a stop to Wesker. But then after that, some other virus took over shortly after. Yeah, we saved the world for like two minutes. No, literally, two minutes. I counted. Two fucking minutes. In the within the dream, and then there's already a new virus. Yeah, 
And there is already a new strain of uh, the virus that Wesker had made. And it was being made, actually, uh, uh, well, not really. Oh, yeah, I do know what kind of things happened, but I didn't actually, uh, yeah. like, yeah, not remember it. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so... <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, but the thing about it is, this upcoming virus that, I mean, sadly the thing about it is, I woke up after that. I don't know why I did, but I fucking did. But the virus that happened shortly after we saved the world from the first one, was not, was actually not, oh, cause, cause it turns out, it turns out, that Wesker that we ended up killing, was not the real Albert Wesker. It was actually a clone. It was a clone that he made himself in a lab designed to look and sound exactly like him. Which is something that he would do. Yeah. And also, uh, come to think of it, um, Dr. Maxis from Call of Duty Zombies, he also helped Wesker make the prototype of that Wesker that we killed. And yes, it was a prototype. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, it was uh, Dr. Yeah, it was uh, Dr. Maxis from, you know, Resident, or not Resident Evil, from Call of Duty Zombies, the one that basically helped Rick Tolfin make the, the, the zombie Whatever the fuck it is. Pretty much, yeah. It was, it was, it was basically a Call of Duty meets Resident Evil when it comes to the. Whoa. Yeah, and then um, after all that, uh, oh the Galil. I don't think I've ever seen that gun in the box before. Well, now I have. Anyways, so you know, I, I guess that was a good transition into the next stream I had. Because, like, I woke up for a little bit, like, a, uh, like two seconds, and then I went back to sleep. Literally, I, I went to sleep for, like, <laughs> like, I, I woke up two or three seconds for, I, I was awake for, like, two or three seconds. Not completely awake, but not completely asleep. I, I, I was halfway between sleeping and dreaming and, and waking and uh, awakening and, and shit like that. So, yeah, yeah it, it, I guess it would kind of bridge the gap between... Um, you know, the two dreams. Yeah, so when I went to sleep again, <clears throat> I had another dream, uh, and like I said, it, it bridged the gap between the two and kind of transitioned into the you know, the next one. So, this dream starts out, <clears throat> we were in Shinonuma, from, and if this was the Black Ops 1 variant, not the World at War or Black Ops 3 variant, but we were in Shinonuma. And, you know, me and Rick Tolfin, you know, we, we ended up somehow separated from everybody else. Basically, it was just me and Rick Tolfin and we were separate. We got we got separated from Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai. And so after that, we we went on a quest to find them. Well, you know those doors that open up to reveal random perks, like you open one area and you can get Juggernaug or Speed Cola in one, but then the other one get uh, yeah, th so. those kind of doors. Because I, I have actually played. I guess a lot of Shinonuma, so I guess that's why that location was set to where it was. Uh, but... So, we ended up having to go and, you know, find these guys. Well, once we found all of the guys that we were looking for, you know, Maxis, Rick, T you know, not Maxis, uh, Dempsey, Takio, Nikolai, these people, uh, you know, once we had to do all that, we ended up surrounded by a horde of zombies 
from Keanu or Toten for some odd reason. And then, yeah, once we killed all the zombies that we could, we got teleported back to the actual Wesker Mansion. Like the real Wesker Mansion from the first game. And then, I but we were outside of the mansion. Like, you know that opening cutscene in Resident Evil 1 where, you know, yeah. it, it introduces all the characters and then that, uh, it was either Barry or whatever the fuck the guy's uh, name is that says, No, also, wait! Uh, is he called the Wesker Mansion? Yeah, but I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm calling it the Wesker Mansion because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know it's like, <laughs> but yeah, uh, but the thing about it is, you know, I'm like, it, we were outside the mansion, you know that opening cutscene where, you know, they introduced the characters and, and the, I, I, I think, I, yeah, I think yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was Barry or whatever the fuck the guy's name is that said, no, wait, don't go, yeah, that guy. Oh boy. What? Yeah. was uh, like... <laughs> oh yeah, speaking of marauders, <laughs> he was in the fucking... <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we ended up going, uh, you know, we got chased by zombies, and we ended up, um, you know, well, not only getting chased by zombies, but... Once we got inside after killing the majority of them, we went literally inside the mansion, took two steps, two fucking steps, and guess uh, what and the... Then, yeah, then, the fucking right, marauder right, showed up uh, out of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm like, are, are you kidding me? Why, why, why is the marauder? Rick Tolfin, what the <laughs> fuck did you do? Rick Tolfin, what the fuck did you do? Yeah, and I'm like, well, shit. I mean, then again, I did show you that image last night of Marauder porn, so. <laughs> yeah. And yes, guys and gals, there exists Marauder porn. Yeah. You will never. Oh yeah, con maker fucking doing some weird shit with the Slayer. I'm gonna tell you what. <laughs> That's probably what he does in his fucking spare time. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, after we ended up seeing the Marauder, Rick Tolfin ended up telling me where these guys came from because he knew a lot more about the the Marauder than the Doom Slayer did because he ended up actually going to hell. You know, to to I don't know why, but Rick Tolfin ended up going to hell to fight zombies before they could spawn on Earth, kind of like what the Doom Slayer does with demons before they can spawn here. But, you know, Rick Tolfin ended up meeting up with the Marauder, and then the Marauder made a deal with him, being like, Oh, you allow Albert Wesker to create the zombies that you see, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll let you guys go, and we'll let you be, we'll let you do whatever. And then, uh, yeah. And basically, Rick Tolfin, being the nutsack that he is, completely, like, disregarded that and started using the Wonder Waff on him. And this was this was this was in a different time period, because you know Rick Tolfin was telling us about how you know um, you know the, the Marauder met up with him while in hell and. All these weird things that technically were not supposed to happen in 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 uh, Call of Duty Zombies, but somehow the the two well, actually multiple video game worlds collided because you had Resident Evil, right? You had uh, Call of Duty Zombies and Doom Eternal because of the Marauder. 
Well, the Marauder ended up being the one that opened up the gateway, not only for all the demons from hell to show up from Doom, but Ooh. also all the zombies that you have ever seen in video game history. So, I the zombies from... So basically, the mar Marauder not only opened up the gateway from uh, to hell, you know, so that the demons can cross over from, from you know from Doom Eternal and Doom in general, uh, but also yeah. So basically, well, yeah, same thing really. I mean, because I all these worlds. Yeah, and then like the Marauder ended up turning. I, I don't know why. This this just came out of fucking nowhere. But the Marauder ended up turning into Sonic.exe after he was after we beat the fucking living goddamn shit out of him. Like we literally, Rick Tuffin shot two shots of the. Of the <laughs> <laughs> and then I grabbed Sonic.exe by the balls and flung him in the air, bashed his fucking skull in. I went into the Doom Slayer mode with this guy. Oddly enough, I don't know why I, I didn't do it with the Marauder in the Marauder form, but I, it was fucking weird. It made no sense at all. Like, how can a demon like the Marauder or any demon at all open gateways from hell to here that will also open that at, at the same time opening up the sa the different portals to different video game worlds because I mean I understand the whole gateway to hell thing that I completely understand you know they're demons they find ways to do there shit <laughs> and then yeah and then they somehow crossed over Call of Duty and Resident yeah. Evil into the same universe and I'm like, God damn it! And I and I woke up after bashing in Sonic.exe's brains. You know, I basically just fucking destroyed him. And then uh, I and after cool. I and after I woke up, I'm like, Well, son of a bitch! I wanted more. I I needed more. Well, I well, I'm getting it. So. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, another thing about it is. I think you were there, it, you actually, okay, so, actually before the Marauder, I actually kind of forgot about the, to tell you this part, so before we actually fought the Marauder, you ended up turning into the Marauder. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, like, you were there, and then... You ended up saying the things that the Marauder does in the game, you know, of Doom Eternal. Yeah, like you, you, you fucking sent messages on on PSN, yeah, and all that, and Facebook and all that shit. So that that could be where that came from, but it gets even weirder. So, yeah, you know, basically it, you were giving that whole speech about. All of Left Speed, nothing but a usurper, full title, blah 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 blah, stupid Marauder but shit. <laughs> yeah, you've been playing Doom way too much lately, god damn it. But yeah, um, <laughs> but, you know, after you gave your giant fucking speech about mar mar Marauder shit, and let me help you to see what did I say, Slayer or Minion? <laughs> I just said, I guess Slayer, I think. I can't remember exactly what all you just said, aside from the whole quotes that you did in the game and shit like that. And did play, what, did it have a name tag on top of it? Just curious. <laughs> well, it had Sonic Doom 999 on it. And what did you say when you saw it? I'd be like, well, fuck. So it turns out my best friend is a goddamn fucking psychopathic axe wielding shield fucking wolf humping demon. <laughs> and then Rick Tolfin ended up killing you instead of me. I don't know why. No. I could. Because, like, like I said, you know, two Wonder Wolf shots and you were dead. I mean, yes, marauders cannot take damage from BFGs or. 
or uh, crucible blades, but they can take a damage from uh, uh, from fucking wonder weapons from Call of Duty. Because apparently, that's something that the Marauder didn't take into consideration of. Oh, you know, there, there's weapons that can destroy most demons in Doom. That's fine, but they had no idea about, you know, the ray gun or the thunder gun or the wonder waff or anything like that from Call of Duty Zombies. So the Marauder ended up dying by something that he overlooked. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, even Dr. Robotnik slash Eggman would be like, what the fuck? What, like, and I fuck up a lot, so why would you fuck up? <laughs> But yeah, I have some really fucking weird dreams that I wish were real. Well, that pain elemental's a fucking asshole. And a crack dealer. And a pygmy goat fucker. And uh, a spoon. I don't think that's the last place I'm going to use in a dark wheel. Oh. That was cool. Literally took the blade and just like sliced on his head all the way down to his like cross, so. Oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> that was, uh, hey, yeah. Marauder. Ooh. Yeah. Speaking of Marauder, here's a Marauder. God damn. Oh yeah. Did you end up beating? I uh, was speaking of Marauder. Did you, did you end up beating the uh, master level of uh, what the fuck is that one? The, the... Uh, I, did, I just, I just kind of really good play. I've been playing it, and I don't feel like, like eh, I don't want to play it anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, but it gets real fucking intense. Know. Yeah, it gets real intense real quick. Long story short, they don't, they, they don't call it the fucking master level for nothing. <laughs> and, uh, you can mark this guy that's like, you know, you get your white belt at first, and then you get your black belt at first, and then you get your black belt at first, and then you get your black belt at first. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, anyways, guys and gals. Yay. Anyways, guys and gals, that's gonna be it for this video. Just a little look inside what the fuck my brain can come up with. Yeah, because. Yeah, I wish I could have this kind of dream, you know? I mean, I try to think of, like, the turn all the time. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just a dream, but I think about that kind of thing you get, like, maybe something weird or whatever. But it wouldn't be exactly, like, how I was supposed to think of it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, pretty much, I mean, even though I say this a lot, and this happens a lot, but, you know, I'm not all just penis farts and vagina kazoos, you know? My brain comes up with some really cool shit that, honestly, I feel like they should either make movies of or TV shows of or video games of or something like that, but they never... Yeah. Hey, one of these days. But, but I didn't feel like I was going to imagine that I was just playing well. Then I beat that. Um, it was one of those two games that I should get at. Yeah. So. And then I beat the little bit as well. Hey, time fucking flies by. But yeah. Right. So, anyways, guys and gals. I'm really glad while working on you get on my phone, it feels like. Yeah. Honestly, I'm the opposite. Like. Oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah. But anyways, guys and gals, that's gonna be it for this video. If y'all like this video, give this video a like. If I was fine too. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on the whole damn thing. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon down below to get notified of my future uploads and live streams and whatever the fuck else that I do. And Follow me on... Yeah.
Yeah. So. Also, follow me on Twitch because I, I do a couple live streams on there. I'm actually yeah, thinking about. I'm actually thinking about doing a live stream later on today, maybe. So, you know, on Twitch. So make sure you follow me there. Because, you know, you guys and gals don't want to miss the good sure shit. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Peace and out, people. Yeah, peace out, people, and bro. Oh, shit. Yeah.